hello everyone welcome to a new video i hope you're all doing really good this week today i have another unboxing for you i just went down like a chanel rabbit hole my chanel unboxing today comes from fashion file and it just arrived so i'm so excited let's get right into it so it comes in these boxes that just a little flap there says fashion file and they gave me a calendar so this is cute it's right on top and so each month i guess has like something different very very nice i like this okay and i feel like it's still early enough in the year where this is like great plus i have so many of the things that they usually send and then i guess this is going to be the receipt right in here yep okay that's the receipt and how exciting so the bat the box is like filled with like confetti and all that let me not make a mess in my room okay so comes in that and then it comes in the fashion file dust bag Okay, so this looks just like that other Chanel bag that I had, I think like two or three videos ago, the white one. And so this is like the tote version of it. As you can see, it has the same like plaque there. That says Chanel. And it has like that square stitch. I think that's what this is called. Actually, I've seen some people call it the chocolate bar tote. But for the most part, it was called the square stitch tote. And then it has... The, remove the tag and you own the bag the certificate of authenticity attached and the reason why I like this bag is the same as the other one it has this big back pocket and so you can fit so much in there my phone for reference as usual so my phone's in there with no problems at all let's look at the inside I got the bubble wrap this one came with its own Chanel dust bag as well. And there it is. Oop, dropped the bag already. My bad. <laughs> okay, so now I took all the bubble wrap out. It also has its little card. Wow, this came with a lot more than I expected. And then that. Oh, okay, it's like instructions. Do not wash, blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's actually kind of cute. I don't... I don't know if my other bags came with that. I don't usually... Like, this was in here, but usually I just leave everything in the box. Okay, so... It has a zipper compartment on the inside. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even know about that. So it has this for your keys, and it attaches... So that you don't lose it. How cool is that? I honestly didn't even know that was in there. Because it, it didn't say anything about it. Okay, so it has the zipper compartment. That little fob right there for your keys. Then on the other side it has... It looks like two little slots for like pens. Right there. And then also like a little pocket right here. Other than that it's just a big open compartment. And it says Chanel all over. And... I like this so much because I actually don't have any totes from Chanel and I really wasn't into the, I forgot what it's called, the grand something tote, you, got, you know, the really popular one that pretty much everyone has. Not the Deville because I do really like that one, but the one before that, I think it was like the Shopper, the Grand Shopper or something. It just didn't really do anything for me, but this one I like it because it is a little bit different and I don't know about the Shopper tote, but this one I love, this huge back pocket. That always sells me. Something that has like a, a nice little pocket where I don't even have to go inside the bag. I just love that. I find it so convenient for my keys, card holder, uh, my cell phone. And then inside I usually have like the bulk of my items like hand sanitizer, face mask, all that good stuff that now we all have to have on us, right? But it's also just so spacious. So it's not big enough for my laptop to fit. I mean, it would go inside, but it would be poking out at, to at the top, but it's still a good size in my opinion because I probably wouldn't be using this for my laptop anyway, 
but I think for days that I do have like more items this is like a really good size and I don't feel like it's too big either and I just love this color it's so pretty I want to say it's kind of like a light pink like a blush something like that like it's not too in your face pink and girly but i feel like it's just the right shade and then right there on the hardware you just have the chanel and this is in really good condition like looking at the hardware it really does not look used i'm not seeing any scratches or anything no this looks great to me I love it and I'm so happy that that little key thing was still inside and so yeah fashion file I just love shopping with them if I could buy most of my pieces from them that are pre-loved I would totally just get it from them just because it's so not a hassle at all everything usually arrives fairly quickly I think this took like less than a week to arrive from when I ordered it and I really had no intentions of buying this because I actually didn't know about this bag but when I was looking at the chocolate bar or the square stitch like mine, I was just looking because my sister liked it a lot too. Imagine my mom has it, I have it, and now my sister wants it. And so when I was looking, I found that they had the square stitch tote style. And so I was like, a tote? Well, I want it. And the price was incredible. This bag was like $700, which to me, that's a really good price for Chanel, especially in this condition. Like look at it i don't see anything wrong with it and the leather looks so durable so nice i also love that the straps just like with the bag it's small it's big enough i mean where you can actually fit your arm very comfortably and i feel like if i was wearing a coat i really wouldn't have a problem because you know sometimes the straps are like really small and you're like fumbling or you can't get it up here and i feel like this bag also the other one we just don't have that problem with it and I'm being a little lazy, but I'm going to grab the other bag just to show you in comparison. I'm back. And this is the other bag in case you guys haven't seen that video or if you forgot. So this is the one that turned me on to this one because my mom got this bag first. And it's called the Square Stitch Bag. And I loved it so much because she kept telling me about the back pocket and all just how great this bag is. So I went ahead and bought it. And then I was looking for the Square Stitch Chanel when i found that they made the tote version so you can see they're very similar just that this one's obviously more of like a tote bag but they both have the square stitch and this one's like a creamy color where this one's like a blush and so i'm just super super happy with this style i think it's very different instead of having like the traditional cc or like the reissue style to have this like little plaque i just i really like that and also remember i told you guys if you saw that video that i had been wanting a chain well on amazon they had these chains and they look nice i got them so that i could use with this bag actually so let me show you i haven't actually worn it with this because i haven't felt the need to since i'm not really going shopping much these days so i don't feel like i need like a free hand but I clipped one to the very front and then one to the very back. And then at least this way, if I wanted to wear it crossbody, now I can. And it's not the same color hardware, but it's close enough. And like I said, I haven't even worn it yet like that because like I was saying, the, the handles on this are big enough where you really don't, you don't really struggle. And I feel like even if I wanted this arm free, I would just keep this up here anyway. So I really love this bag enough to get its sister or mom or aunt or whatever you would consider the bigger style and yeah i'm just absolutely in love fashion file you got me so i'm really happy with this one and this one obviously i don't need like the crossbody thing because this one's really i mean the straps are about the same yeah this one's just slightly bigger but oh i could not be any happier if you guys find this bag you should get it i did see that they had it in a few different colors but this one was just the right one for me because i feel like it's super versatile like i could see myself wearing like even with this like just doesn't seem to matter it's not like a very out there in your face color so i feel like it's not going to contrast any of my outfits too much especially if i'm wearing like all black or all white i just think that this would be really really good for it and since it is pre-loved, 
I'm just going to clean it up a little bit with my leather cleaner and then put the leather conditioner on it. I just like to do that to kind of just, I don't know, makes it feel more mine once I have it. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off because I'm definitely going to keep this one. I could not be happier. Also, I just realized that my nails match. I did not do that on purpose. I just got this color done. But anyway, totally off topic. So... That wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed my Chanel unboxing from Fashion File. I couldn't be any happier with this purchase. And so if you did like the video, do give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I do post weekly, so I will see you all next week. Have a great day. Mwah.